Unfortunately, not everyone can own a machine gun like this. There's certain rules you gotta live by. It sucks, but it's the truth. There's also licensing and a little bit of skill. Believe it or not, we got both. Welcome to the Gunner's Vault. Hey guys, I scored an AK-47 from Eric Holder and those guys. Got it before it went across the border. Don't tell nobody. Check it out. I haven't gone over the AK yet. I'm gonna right now. Uh, there's not a lot to it. It's a simple gun. That's why it works. It works all the time. You can't break it. That's why Eric Holder sent it over to Mexico. These guys, once they get it, man, they can shoot it. It's a great little gun. The strong points... It's dependable. It's going to work. It's a good round. It's powerful. The weak point is not as accurate as, say, an AR. That's a problem. But it is a good gun. It is uh, not too expensive. It's a little harder on the shoulder than the AR, but, you know, more bang for the buck, so to speak. Uh, it's easy to work on, easy to clean, easy to maintain. This is built for the peasant farmer in Russia. This is the modern equivalent of a Mosin the gun. They were, you know, they think, hey man, what if the Germans come back and invade us like they did before? You know, we can't obviously have Mosins, so what do we do? AK-47. This, of course, is not an AK-47. This is an M70 clone. The real AKs are full auto. This is semi-auto. Two positions, not three. This is not, I repeat, not an assault rifle. Assault rifles are full auto. This is semi-auto. How can I tell? Because I've shot it. It's got two clicks. One, two. Semi, safe. That's it. So that's it. I gotta go hide this, otherwise Eric Holder's gonna go ahead and take it from me and try and, you know, send it down south. So y'all don't tell nobody I got it. <laughs> 